Hey there everyone, I'm Iman Shumera and you are watching Technomania. In this tutorial on how to edit with Filmora, I will teach you guys that how to do color grading in Filmora. But before I begin this tutorial, I wanted to let you know that this tutorial is made by keeping in mind that you are either a beginner or an intermediate in Filmora. Cause if you have years or months of experience with the software, then you probably know how to do the color grading in it. Also, this tutorial is for those who want to learn the basics of color grading. But before I move further, I wanted to share a little suggestion. Basically, the reason for doing the color grading on a video clip or a picture is to enhance the look and the feel of that particular. Color grading is not same for all the videos or photos. It is indeed actually done according to the way the subject is shot at or with the emotion that is being conveyed with it. For example, if you want to color grade a horror film, then apart from shooting a horror scene, you would like to make your video a little more dark and would like to give it a little greenish tint with high contrast because that's just how horror movies are color graded so you would also like to have that feel in your video too. Okay so now this is clear, well I won't going to take any more of your precious time and so without further ado, let's hop right on to the tutorial. As by now, you are familiar with the Filmora UI layout. So just like usually, you want to select your clip and drag it to the timeline editor. Now if you right click on your clip, it will show you an edit option, just click on it. Now here you can see some basic options like adjusting the contrast, saturation etc. Here you can also directly apply some pre-made LUTs to your video. Now I want to pause a bit here. You see. A LUT is a pre-made color base which is used to directly apply to a clip instead of adjusting everything manually. Basically, these LUTs are most helpful when you are creating a longer clip. Most films are color graded by their own custom LUTs. There are few of the very amazing LUTs available in Filmora. But if you want to have more, then Filmora basically allows you to download another LUTs from the internet and apply it with Filmora. Ok so by now it is clear. So let's hop right back to the tutorial. Now you can play with these LUTs and can decide for yourself as to what type is good for you. Now you can also ditch them or just color grade from scratch but I will suggest you to use these pre LUTs if you don't want to do everything manually. Choosing these various LUTs can help you decide that what is good for your video. Now I would like to use this particular cool film LUT as it really enhances the water look in the clip. Now click on this advanced button and then it will open another tab in this new color grading panel that is going to be opened. The best thing is that you can go to this top right corner where you have various options where you can put your clips side by side before and after and can see change happening to the clip in real time. Now as you can see the temperature in this clip is way cooler. So I would like to change the temperature to make it more empathetic to rainy scene. I suggest you use tint only if needed. Otherwise there's no need to use it. Now, in color panel, you adjust various things like exposure, brightness, etc. It totally depends on your choice like for me, I decided to go with the neutral in first two but I added a little contrast. Now, vibrance is something you need to look upon. It can change the color feel and can either make or break your clip. Saturation on the other hand just changes the intensity of the color. Now in light tab, you define the type of light, whether it be shadows, highlights, etc. The main thing in Filmora for color grading is the HSL panel. Here you are given 8 color palettes from which you can understand that what they do. For example, if you have red color in your clip, then you can change it to some other color which is on the RGB variants and you can also adjust its saturation and opacity to how much it stand out. For example, in this orange tab, you can see the taxis in orange suddenly become a purplish tinted, just like that. Well, basically this is something that you need to do according to your choice. I'm going to fast forward this process as because doing this manually gonna take some time but hey, all of it is going to be a worthwhile. But one point to be noted in this color palette to try not to change the luminance and saturations too much because sometimes it can give you that glitchy color look where it can add grain to your video. Color grading is all about self expression where you can express your own emotions emotions with it.
Now, as you've seen that I made that plain looking video into something of a heavy dark sidewalk scene, just like a Japanese manga or a Japanese movie scene, it actually gives me that kind of a vibe. So I just said that. Just as I told you before that color grading is all about the emotion. So in the world of cinema or color grading, mostly three major color gradings are done now. Please do note that these three categories can be divided into many other but these are the bases. First is the dark color grading which I just showed you before where you can change the video emotion into a horror, mystery, thriller or sadness etc type of scene. Another one is comedy which I don't think that I need to explain that much. And the third genre is action where multiple shades are basically used in color grading depending on the scene variance. So let's consider that what if you can change the emotion of the clip for example let's take this clip. At first this clip gives us a vibe of a sad or a very disturbed man sitting somewhere. So what if I tell you that you can change the emotion completely of this video. Let's say make it a comedy scene. Well how would you do that? Well most of the comedy color grading are very vibrant and lively. So if I were to color grade this clip into a comedy then I will simply want to do it manually. First most comic scenes have a very warm temperature in it as cold temperature will make it not so enigmatic. Also most of these types has neutral contrast or a little faded one but with some vibrance and some saturation as more excited color give it more excited feel. Also in comic scenes the clips are graded so that it looks more lifelike and not dull. Uh, I think that you're getting my point. If I were to add an audio on this clip, let's say a comic one, then you can totally see the clip transforming into a sad guy sitting on a bench to a comic scene where it can be that this guy is getting pissed off by some very clinging person in a comic way. See that's what I'm talking about. Okay so the color grading is not stopped here. If you want, you can stop the tutorial right now and can start practicing the color process in Filmora right away. But if you want a bonus then just bear me for 2 more minutes. Okay so this is not the only way to color grade in Filmora. To further enhance the quality or give your video a certain emotion or tone then you can also use color filters. In Filmora there are tons of filters available. For instance in my case I downloaded this cinematic color pack from Filmora which granted me 100 plus color filters palettes that I mostly use in my videos. You can either directly apply these or you can first color grade your video then further enhance the video look with the help of these filters. Okay so that's pretty much what I can teach you about the color grading in Filmora. If you still have any query then I suggest you to watch the tutorial again or you can simply ask about anything in the comment section if you face any difficulty in any part of the video. So guys what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section below and if you think that this video is worthwhile then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos like this for you. Till then, see you later.